G'day, welcome back, Jez Beer Reviews. Right, so we had the uh, Taborg in the can the other day, so it's now the Taborg in the bottle. So the bottle is a 330 mils and also 4.6% ABV. It says here they use corn malt in this. That must be their adjunct. Um, yeah, it's got a um, pull top there. Remember a couple of years ago, remember when uh, Colton Dry done this? It was the stupidest idea ever. Oh, it's easier. It's never easier. Obviously, they do this, but now let's crack it. But yeah, that's just painful. It is painful. And you want your ginger beer and you're getting her off. Compared to like a twist top. Psst. Done. Even a, a crown seal just. Off she goes. Anyway, so uh, Swillengrog sent this to me as well. So big thanks to Swillengrog for this stubby. As I said in that video, Swillengrog um, has drank a lot of this beer over time. More than the cans, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure I used this glass the other day. Um, this glass is like a headmaster. It does have the uh, wheel. It's got the edging on the inside the glass there, which um, keeps the head flowing. And you, yeah, so it's very similar to a headmaster. Um, you got one for your very white head and that same appearance, nearly on straw, pretty clear um, straw. Yeah, straight up I can smell skunk. Yeah, it's definitely, uh, compared to the can, I've got a skunk aroma. Uh, being the old classic, green bottles, um, for it, around the light, light um, is not good for the beer, that's why brown bottles work better in cans. So, yeah, it's got a skunky aroma. Maybe a little bit of grassiness, but I'm getting all that typical green beer skunk. Anyway, let's get into it. Cheers, is all. Oh, yeah, and cheers to Swiller Grog as well. Maybe a, a, a carbonation difference between the two. I think the carbonation level is immediately better than the can. This is somewhat dry, but I don't think it's quite as, as I say, or a lot of people say, as snappy at the back. And probably not as clean. That makes sense. So that light, yeah, you know, light malt flavour, the Euro hop flavour. So online they described it as the the brewer describes it as flowery. Yeah, it's just um, Euro, and it does have a little bit of that taste from you get from skunk beers. Don't know how you describe it. But it's there. Mmm. Yeah, the carbonation is one thing I've noticed straight up. The can is such allows for such more snappy, clean, crisp finish. Where the bottle is just lacking a bit. I don't know, maybe it sees um Maybe it's these caps. Maybe they don't seal as good too. That's, you know, something like that. Where like a crown top and all that, it's just like, they're pretty good. Green bowl and skunk, it hasn't been protected from the light in its journey to Australia. So the can is definitely a winner. So, okay, so for, for the, um, for a score, I'd say this is, satisfactory I'm pretty sure the can they said it was good so this is satisfactory but if you had to pick the two you go the can all day the can is far um, so much better than the bottle it doesn't look that much to me ratings but um, the, the can is is good um, a lot more enjoyment but um, how's that for you it's, Two products, um, 
yeah, they're, they're the same product domain. So a same product, uh, one's in a can, one's in the traditional green bottle, and the can's just knocked out of the park. So uh, that would be another probably interesting one to try with a lot of the, um, some of the domestics. It'd have to be done blind. It's, yeah, I do a lot of blind stuff, but if you know what it is, you can sometimes side one way. Me knowing this, maybe I should have done blind, but I just the, the taste I said the other boys are talking about. Um, yeah, there is a there's a bit of a difference for sure. Very drinkable still, but um, sessionable. But yeah, I'd go the can and the cans. Yeah, it's a go-to option. So yeah, satisfactory for the Tobog and the green in the bottle. Big thanks to Swillagrog, and once again, thanks for watching this. Uh, another episode of Jez Beer Reviews, and we'll be back with more beers, IPAs, with some strong beers coming your way very soon. So, you guys will take care. See you in the next one.